You're doing so good. You see yourself? <laughs> Angel, like the camera, okay? No. No, you don't like the camera? Do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey boo, what's up? <laughs> it's time to hang out yet again. So we're starting off today's vlog with a try on haul. I have not done a try on haul in a minute. The seasons are changing and fall is here. So it was time for some new pants, some comfortable pants I can just wear on an everyday basis. I can dress them up or down. It's definitely a need, a must have for my closet. And I got six pairs of pants from this Amazon brand called G for Free. They are an active wear line, but you can either dress their pieces up or down depending on your preference. I love that they have that versatility to them. The links to them will be down below in the description box. So enough of my chit chatter girl, let's go ahead and get into it. For size reference, I am 5'3", 147 pounds, and I got every single pair of these pants in a size small with a 31 inch inseam. And if you're shorter or taller than I am, they have lengths for you as well. So this is the first pair I picked out and their pants come in a variety of different colors, but for these, I chose their charcoal heather option. When picking out these pants, I definitely went with more neutral colors just because it is the fall and I would love to wear these pants with multiple options in my closet. This specific pair is their cross waist pant style. The unique V waist is super flattering and it also comes with deep enough pockets for your essentials. The next pair, I chose this pretty navy heather color. Now this pair is one of my favorites because from afar, they look more dressy, like something you could wear to work with the decorative pocket and the faux fly. These yoga pants could work in any environment. And all of these pants are wide-legged, which is perfect for styling with pumps or sneakers. Now this next pair is their drawstring yoga pant in dark gray. These are a little more on the casual side. They come with the deep side pockets and they're super comfortable. Made with polyester and spandex like the previous two. These pants are soft against the skin and super lightweight. Perfect for doing some exercise or just lounging around. I saw this meme that said motherhood is an extreme sport. That's why we have to wear workout clothes every day. And I literally felt that in my soul. But I'd rather have it this way because not only are the clothes comfortable, but they're flattering as well. I also love this little signature design they put on the back. Super cute. See, this next pair is made from their bare feel fabric, making them super buttery and extremely soft. Just like the others, these are wide-legged, high-waisted, and super stretchy, but these have a seamless front. So they're gonna make you look super smooth in the tummy area. Now these don't have side pockets like the others, but what they do have is this hidden waistband pocket in the back that can hold items like money, keys, or even your phone. 
And one thing about these pants is they are gonna hug you in all the right places. This next pair is similar to the last ones I just showed, but instead of the hidden back pocket, they do have side pockets. And getting into the fabric of these pants, these are made from that same bare feel fabric as the last ones. And they really do have that skin-like softness to them, making them comfortable as an everyday pant. And with four-way stretch, they really do move with you and offer you that free, lightweight feeling. Last but not least, we have this elastic waist drawstring pant in the color taupe. These are more loose fitting all the way down, comes with pockets, definitely more on the casual side for things like working out, running errands. I honestly already wore these a couple of times already because they are the perfect pant to just throw on and go. I want nothing more than it just being something comfortable and lightweight like 99.99% of the time. But I never want to have to sacrifice comfort for cuteness. But with these pants, I can have them both. New pants, new experience, more savings, more style. Your well-being starts here. Girl, go ahead and head on over to Amazon and pick out your favorites. All pants range between $30 to $50. And it's their 10th anniversary, so you can use code G for free 10 to get some money off. So today is gonna be a good day. I was in the midst of filming my weekly vlog, but we got a lot to do today. And I was just feeling really good today. So I'm like, look, let's start the vlog early. We've got a lot to do. We've got one, I wanna rearrange this like, office gym we have going on here just so i can like optimize the space just make it feel a bit bigger because we do have more workout equipment on the way we have a recliner to put together in our master bedroom our master bedroom is a hot mess y'all know how like the rest of the house can be spotless but it's gonna be that one room that's just a hot mess that's our master bedroom so we're gonna be cleaning that up i also want to go to home goods and see if i can find some curtains for like our door slash window thing that we have in, in our room too. Angel is my 19 month old. He slept in until 10 a.m. Girl, it's 10.07 right now. He just woke up. But I'm like, let's go ahead and start the vlog. I was able to wake up, get some work done, get some editing done, get myself together for the day. You know I me, mean? like I'm feeling good. I'm feeling so good today. I've just really been in like a grateful mind space. I woke up, the first thing I did was do my devotions. And today's word of the day was basically just being careful about what we allow into our hearts by the things we watch, the things we hear, the things we're around, you know, like just really guarding our hearts. It's Proverbs chapter four, verse 23. It says, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. And really be mindful of the things we consume. It affects our heart, whether we want to realize it or not so yeah and it's just gonna be a great day it's gonna be a great day so yeah like I just said Angel did just wake up so we're gonna go ahead and go in there and get him get him all ready for the day get him dressed and you know just do all the mom things I am a stay-at-home mom so that is my first priority okay so yeah and I'm so glad he slept in today I think that contributed to me just in such a great mood. Like I got to get things done. Thank you, Jesus. Shoe, you wanna put on your dinosaur shoe? We can put on your dinosaur shoe. Where's your other one? Plus I have two shoes. You only got one shoe, buddy. Where's your other shoe? Hmm. Put on your dinosaur shoe. What sound does the dinosaur make? What sound does the dinosaur make? Whoa. Raw, good job, baby. So cute. We gotta find the other one, too. I think this one. Everybody's in a good mood this morning, huh, man? Wheels 
does it have? It has four wheels. One, two, three, four. Four wheels. One, two, three, four, five. It only got four wheels, not five. <laughs> That's your car. Your car goes vroom, vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. Your food is almost ready. Do you want a piece of banana? Until yeah. your food is almost done. Here you go, boobies. Uh oh. Your toys are everywhere, man. You like bananas? Bananas are yummy. Let's put on the baby. Make sure your clothes can stay a little bit clean, right? <laughs> Why you acting like that? Like, get this bib up off me, mama. Do you want to feed yourself? Here's your spoon. You ready? Mommy's going to help you, okay? You ready? Good job. Look at that big boy feeding himself. What? You don't even need my help, huh? Can we try to keep your clothes clean? I don't know why I changed you first before we ate breakfast, but it's all right. Ooh, that was a big bite, huh, buddy? <laughs> okay, y'all, so over the last few days, I've been allowing Angel to feed himself, and he's been doing so good. I don't know why I was hanging on, y'all. I was hanging on by thread from like teaching him to feed himself because I just like to feed him. But he's shown interest in like feeding himself. So I'm like, I guess, I guess it's about time you can start feeding yourself. <laughs> you took the big spoon. This is your spoon. Yummy oatmeal. Yummy, yummy. Is it good? You're doing so good. You see yourself? <laughs> Angel, like the camera. Okay. No. No, you don't like the camera? <laughs> see the red light? That's a red light on the camera. You can't touch the camera yet, okay? We got to eat. Look at that big boy. What? What? Look at my big man. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I don't know. Can you see yourself? Purple. You purple. Purple? It's not purple. Purple dough. Purple dough. Can you say it one more time for me? Mm. Okay. Yes. Angel. Yes, your name is Angel. No? You can't get up yet because we're still eating. Here, I'll sit with you, okay? Okay, you ready to brush your teeth? Y'all know how you change a kid and then they poop right after you do it? Like, are you kidding? Let's brush your teeth first, kid, okay? And then we're gonna go and get you back together all over again. You ready to brush your teeth? Look, you got your toothbrush. And who is that? Elmo. Elmo, yeah? You gonna brush your teeth with Elmo today? We gotta put some toothpaste on it first, my, my love. We gotta put some toothpaste. Okay. Can mommy do it first? And then you can do it. Ready? Say, ah. Look at yourself. Say, ah. First them teeth is. You gotta brush them teeth is. Angel, please be for real. Come on. Come on. We ain't done yet. Come on. Can I get the back teeth on the bottom? You gotta get the bottom teeth. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on, there's the front teeth. Give me the front teeth. Okay, here. Do you want to do it? Good job. Got to scrub a dub dub. You think he got to wet his toothbrush like every two seconds? You're supposed to be brushing your teeth, not playing in the water. Come on, baby. Can I see it for two seconds? Say, ah. The fact that you really do not let me brush your teeth is crazy. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and rechange him. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna go in the office and just rearrange the office first. And then we're gonna move into our bedroom because our bedroom is the most work. I'm gonna have to fold clothes, make the bed, vacuum, put up the recliner, and then we might go to Home Goods. Do we go to Home Goods today? We wanna go shopping to go look at some curtains? We go to get curtains at the Home Goods, man. You wanna go to get curtains with mommy? We get out the house today and maybe we can go on a walk. That's spray. One, two, two, three, four, five, five windows. Five windows? Those aren't windows. These are sprays. That's perfume. Okay, buddy. I think we're done. Five. Five. Good job. Can I have your toothbrush? And we go change your diaper, okay? Actually, we gotta wash your face first. Let's wash your face. Cause your face been looking a little crusty. <laughs> crusty, dusty. And put your toothbrush back, cause we all done brushing your teeth, okay? Good job. You a big boy getting your face washed, huh? Okay, all done. Okay, so we finally made it to the bedroom. And as you can see, clothes are everywhere. The bed needs to be made. This thing right here, I'm thinking I wanna put it in the other room I was just in. I didn't finish, like, well, I finished rearranging everything, but what you guys saw, I moved the stuff a couple times. <laughs> it's almost one o'clock right now. I spent over an hour in there contemplating how I wanted everything to go. It's ridiculous. But we finally made it to the master bedroom. I will show you guys after Sean comes home and me and him moves this into that room because right now we like i feel like it's just too much going on and with us having a recliner in here i really want to you know i'm really trying to tap into my interior designer era and our rascal is still up <laughs> just messing with stuff he's been content though he hasn't been fussy or anything but let me not speak too soon okay because you know as soon as you start talking good about your kids they start acting up on you so let's go ahead and get into this room
Okay, y'all, so this, this is the dry cleaner pile. At least I think it was. I don't know if jeans should be in the dry cleaner pile. pile. I know his work clothes are in the dry cleaner pile. Anyways, <laughs> we got the dry cleaner pile. We got the clean clothes pile that I just washed. Those are the clothes that he still needs to unpack. And then these are, they're supposed to be dry cleaner clothes, but they don't look like it. He said it. I think he was just talking to... <laughs> Because I asked him to put his stuff in a pile so I could help him out a little bit, right? Let's go ahead and get these clothes up. So I'm about to go ahead and put all of his dry cleaner clothes in the bag. Because if they need to go to the dry cleaners anyways, it'll be easier to take them in a bag. <laughs> that was my thought process. He gonna come home and be like, why'd you put my clothes in a bag? <laughs> like, babe, I'm, trying, I'm trying to help you out. And the bags smell good too. Hold up. These bags smell good. Smell the bag, Angel. Smell good. Be careful, okay? Y'all know Angel likes to get up on a bed. <laughs> this boy be... My heart be thumping. Angel, I just made the bed, man. I just made the bed. How you gonna get up on my pillows? Be careful, okay? Here, you can watch Miss, Miss Rachel on the bed. I'll get some of your balls for you to play with too, okay? And you also got a hundred dollars. There you go. <laughs> Laundry day. 
What do you see out there? Do you see some trees? Are there so many trees outside? Yes. Yeah. yeah, oh, be careful. Yay! Yay! You see some trees, man? Yeah. We could take a walk outside. Ha woo! So many trees. House. House. You see a house? Good job, baby. <laughs> three houses. Three houses? You see three houses. Whoa. That's a lot of houses. Five? Five houses? Hmm. You're so cute. At the mama time, we have a long tape out. Yeah, you're so cute. And I clean up. You like to clean up? Clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. Yeah. It has been, I don't even know what time it is. Show them your box. Say, look at my box. This is my blue box. So I basically cleaned up a majority. I'm still working on his clothes, girl. As you can see, I tried to organize it up in the closet. I, first of all, I don't know how the door came off. <laughs> Open, me. Open, please. Yes. Yes. Not me. Open, please. Can you open the box? Open the box. Open, please. Yay, you opened the box. Good job, buddy. Mommy has to get the vacuum cleaner. Look what I found. I found two balls. One, two. I got to get two, or not two balls. I got to get the vacuum. Okay, so it is 3.15. The time is low-key going by fast. And I feel like it's because I'm actually doing stuff. <laughs> Let me turn on the light. It's definitely past Angel's time or Angel's nap time. His normal nap time is like 2.30 and it's 3.15, but I haven't went on a walk with him or I haven't been on a car ride. And that's normally what I'll do to help put him to sleep for his nap time. So after he's done eating his lunch, we're gonna go ahead and go in the car and go, or not go in the car, but go outside. Cause it's actually a nice day outside and just take a walk and we'll see how long it takes him to fall asleep. Once he eats, I'm sure he'll be out for the count. But yeah, y'all, I stole this shirt from Sean's pile of clothes. I was like, I think this will fit me. <laughs> and I just threw it on. But I'm low-key tired too. Or not tired, like sleepy. I'm just like exhausted from doing all that. So I'm about to just get me a mango. I'm about to shred this, or not shred it, but take the skin off and eat some mango before we go on this walk. After Angel wakes up from his nap, we're gonna go to the grocery store because I have to get some more fruit for him. Was there anything else I wanted to do today? Home goods. I wanted to go to Home Goods to see if I can find like a curtain rod and a curtain for that upstairs window, even though I'm gonna need the rod holders too. Dang it. They might have some at Target. And then I also have to edit this vlog. So I've got to get some work done too. So we'll just keep seeing how the day goes. It's been going by pretty fast. <laughs> but yeah.
Angel just fell asleep about 10 minutes ago. I'm about to fix me and Sean some coffee. Sean came home actually right before me and Angel were going on our walk. And now we're about to go move that white fireplace in our master bedroom into the gym to where I want it. But girl, I need some coffee first because I am so tired. I'm not tired, I'm just like exhausted from the day so far. You feel what I'm saying? I still wanna get in my workout though too. So we're about to drink this coffee, move that thing up there, and then get a workout in, okay? Say hey, babe. Hey. This coffee about to do exactly what it needs to do. Okay, y'all, so this is what I came up with. We just need some decor. <laughs> we just need some decor. I'm always trying to switch some stuff up. Maybe I just be in the house too long. I just, you know, I get tired of staying here and I'm staring at the same thing over and over again. I just feel like, you know, it's time for a little change. I don't know, but I'm about to go ahead and get a workout in. Angel is knocked out. It's five o'clock. So I'm about to go ahead and work out on my Pilates. Or actually, no. I wanted to do a Pilates reformer workout because I haven't in a while. But I'm actually using this personal training app called Trainwell. So I'm about to do the workout on there. And then we're going to go shower. And I'm going to see if I can get some work done. to wear this little outfit period okay nice little two-piece from fashion nova so angel is still sleeping i'm about to go wait and wake him up because girl it is 6 30 and if i don't wake him up now he is gonna be up all night so we're gonna wake him up feed him i actually need to cook him something to eat and then i'm thinking we can go to home goods and get those curtains and try to find a curtain rod and i still have to vacuum our room upstairs too and get the rest of sean's clothes up so we're gonna do that, but I put some coffee in the fridge earlier. Y'all know how I told y'all I was about to get some coffee. I just, ooh, not me about to spill my coffee. I just stuck it in the fridge because I wanted it cold and I could really use it right now. But yeah, today has been a pretty productive day and I feel good because I finally got myself together. I feel a little cute. I feel a little cute, okay? white chocolate mocha i will never not use this creamer it is so good okay and i hate how it's starting to get dark earlier y'all know i really hate vlogging at nighttime because we don't got good light up in here i did just get a ring light though but having to tote that ring light everywhere is just doing the most we gonna figure something out and the recliner i don't know if we're gonna unbox the recliner today y'all i gotta do everything before the sun goes down and the sun is starting to go down so early like it's 6 30 and the sun is starting to go down like no no bring the sun back so yeah i do want to hurry up and put that re that recliner up though but i gotta finish cleaning up the room and then yeah anywho boo let's go wake up angel it's starting to grow on me at first i was questioning like wait a minute does this look cute but it does. I love that we brought that in there. We brought that in here. A little art piece of artwork right there. That'd be too cute. Period. Okay. Let's go and wake this baby boy up. He's so cute. Look at my little booty. Angel, wake up, boobies. I know. So my mom don't want to wake up. <laughs> you mad. I'm sorry. I know, baby. You were sleeping for so long. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, you was knocked out. You pee-peed a little bit, huh? Wanna get in the shower? I know you like the shower. It be relaxing, huh? Yeah. And then we get some food, okay? I just put these sheets on your bed. I just put these sheets on your bed, man. Say, Mom, what do you expect? 
taking a shower, man? Okay, y'all, so I was thinking about getting a throw or a pillow to put on the recliner. And I'm between these two. I like how this one looks. And I want it to match our curtains. So, we've got it. Why are you so loud, baby? Daddy Sandals. Yeah, you're just the loudest baby in the whole store. I want the blanket to match the curtains, but we didn't find any curtains, so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. That one's cute too. Yeah, I really like that one. They actually have And what the the that curtains are gonna be? They have a pillow, a small pillow that matches that. Like, they don't got no price tag for this. Oh yeah, they do. It's right the here. lucky brand. So if you put in twenty five dollars. That would have been cute for the office. That black chair right there. Do they have anything for? Oh, they got something new. Oh, I'm getting this. Angel. We say hi. Look, that's me, Mama. But you gotta stay off the table, Wolfie. All right, you gotta get off the table. What can we get for Angel? They got, he got potatoes? Like, oh, yeah, like a little sweet potato or something. Angel. You went to her store? I thought you were going to Yeah, you did it. Good job, baby. I did it. It's fresh. They hot, too.
It is 10.30 at night time. We just got back. Oh, y'all can't even see the time. It's 10.29, girl. We just got back home. And I haven't really had time to edit the vlog that I'm trying to get done for this week. So I snuck up here and left Sean with Angel downstairs. And whenever Sean wants to put him in the bed, he can do that. <laughs> I hope you're not expecting me to come back downstairs because your girl will be up here for sure. So yeah, thank you for hanging out with me today, you guys. We did a lot today. We finally cleaned up Sean's clothes. We got this white fireplace dresser thing in this room. I really like how this room is set up now. Like it's really hitting for me. Got the bike over there, the little, you know, we got, we just had to judge it up a little bit. It's starting to look a little more homey in here. And I can't wait to put up that recliner. I'm sick because we were at Home Goods, but I don't know what color I want to do because I wanted to get a blanket or a pillow for the recliner chair. And then I wanted that to match the curtains. Sean was saying we should do like a burnt orange color, but I was thinking like a brown. I don't know. I really don't know. So that's why we didn't get anything because I'm so indecisive. I thought I was going in there knowing what I wanted but I didn't know what I wanted so I didn't just want to pick out something random either just to begin something so we didn't end up getting anything but we did go out to eat that was a nice surprise Sean pulled up to BJ's and we got to sell us some little food it's Sean's birthday month Sean's birthday is October 19th so yeah girl 18 17 more days until my bae's birthday i'm about to be in here editing this vlog for sunday y'all the weekly vlogs be so long but they be like an hour long do y'all like the daily vlogs better or do y'all like weekly vlogs i was thinking about more incorporating more daily vlogs so we'll see but um yeah it's been fun hanging out today i feel like today was a good day today was a good productive day and i feel like it's been a long day to be honest like it went by fast but it's been a long day if that makes sense thanks for rocking with me and i will see you guys in my next upload and subscribe if you are not already good night or good morning good afternoon whatever time you're watching this girl yeah i'm about to sit here and eddie in my little corner. I love the fact that it's in a corner. I love being like in corners and in like, you know, in small little spaces. I feel like I got my own little space over here now. Okay. All right, girl, I'm just rambling cause I don't want to end it, but we got to end it at some point, girl. So I'll see you later.